Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to update your uh, customized Revit add-ins um, from a previous year. So, for instance, with this add-in that you can get on the Autodesk store called ViewSync, um, you can see that it's only available for these versions, and I'm using the latest, which is Revit 2021. So I'm going to show you how to make that work. So you download the file. Logging in first. Okay, so here's your your installation file. Just go ahead and install that. only takes a second alright so now that that's installed you have to find the folder um, where these add-ins install to and there are different places for them but um, most of them get installed in for me program C program data Autodesk application plugins okay so we're gonna go and find our our plugin down here and you're going to have an XML file, and then you're going to have a contents folder for most of these plugins. Sometimes it'll be a little bit differently, different. First thing to do, open the XML file. You can open it with any text pad. Um, I'm opening this with Visual Studio Code, but you can literally open it with Notepad, text pad, Notepad Plus, um, Word even, I think. The thing is, always save this file as the same extension which is XML so here's here's what the deal is these are your different configs for for different versions of Revit take this entire snippet here so everything for the 2019 version so that's gonna be from this bracket all the way till where it closes um, here just press enter paste it and then replace all the 2019s with whatever your Revit you're using. So for me, 2021, there, there, and there. Oh, one more here. And so that's it for this file. Then go ahead and save it. Oops. File save. Then you can close that. Then for most plugins, most add-ins, that will be enough. Um, for this one, they do it a little bit differently. So the next thing to do is to go in there and see if you have the right files set up. So here we don't. So I'm going to copy both of these, 2019, paste this, call it 2021. Paste resources. Then we're going to go into 2021 and we're also going to change the name of this file here to reflect the correct year that we just changed in that XML file. And I'm not sure about here, but I think this is all going to be the same. You just have to make sure that all of the files and extensions in that XML file right here point to the right content so that means the right folder directory and then the correct file name so that should be good so let's open up Revit and see if we've done it this should take a second this will work with most add-ins I've found, it won't work if it's a, say, a paid add-in that you need uh, to subscribe to, and then some add-ins install in different locations and e or even standalone installations on your computer. So, again, it will work, in my experience, for most free add-ins for Revit, but not necessarily all of them. So let's open it up. And then we have 
to find it. And there it is. Okay, so we have successfully done it. It takes a little searching, but this will work for most add-ins and uh, not just for Revit, but um, the same kind of thing applies to SketchUp or any other program you're trying to customize. Thank you for watching.